Skyler with Ignite Attachments. This is our 48 inch tiller again. Today we are reversing the tines. Uh, it takes a couple things. You gotta flip the gearbox around, uh, take it off, flip it over, put it back on. Uh, you're gonna take the tines out, flip them around, do a 180, put them back in. A um, couple bolts we gotta take off, uh, and then train the gearbox. That should be it, and we'll be back the other way. Currently, this is set up for reverse tine. Uh, you can see the cutting tapered edge on the front here. Um, so it spins, cuts from the back side forward, pulls the dirt forward, so more aggressive. Uh, got a little more horsepower, a little more juice, um, gusto, whatever you want to call it, to run it in reverse. Um, so we're going to flip it over to a forward rotation. There is a 516 strain plug on the gearbox, some 90 millimeter bolts on either end of our tying assembly here. So we have to flip those, take those out, flip them over, and then there's a total of six 19 millimeter bolts we'll have to take out, and two on the top of the gearbox, and, and four holding it on from the bottom. Uh, so we have to take those out, and we're gonna have to flip the, uh, the vent and the drain plug. Uh, so put the vent on the bottom and the drain plug on the top. Once we flip it over, put it back together. Okay, so we got four bolts on the end here, four on either end, 19 millimeter. Uh, you can usually get a ratchet on one end and then a wrench on the other to get these spun off. So we'll get four on this side, four on that side taken off. And before you start on this, uh, set it up on some blocks. These are just four by four. That way you have room for your tines to drop out. You can freely spin everything uh, to get to your other bolts. First thing you'll have to do before you get started is to remove your uh, your flower pot. That's what we call it. Uh, it's, your, it's your PTO shield. You can take your PTO shaft off. Um, get those out of the way. We we'll get these eight bolts taken off, drop the tines, and then we can work on draining our gearbox and getting that flipped around. Now that we have our eight bolts out, um, we might need a little pry bar, but it should just fall right out. You can take it out and then it'll just be a 180. So you can spin it. We'll drain our gearbox oil here. Again, that's a 15 16 Allen that you can run up from the bottom. And then there's four 19 millimeter bolts on the bottom. So we'll have to get those out. They are the exact opposite location of these guys here. So we'll have to take two off the top, four out of the bottom, we'll have to loosen this guy so we can pivot that arm out of the way. With our gear oil drained, you can go ahead and leave the drain plug out because we'll have to put it where the breather is. 
we're gonna have to loosen up our top support bolt here. It's 15 sixteenths. And then we'll have to run our six 19 millimeter bolts out. That makes your top support loose. So there's just four on the bottom. The ones on the bottom do have a lock washer with them. So now our gearbox is loose. We do have to take a snap ring out here and then we can slide it off our drive shaft that goes over. And the snap ring. There's the washer or spacer that goes behind the snap ring to hold this hex shaft in place in the correct place. So now we should be able to just pull this gearbox towards us. And we'll take our breather plug off the top, which is a 22 millimeter. And we can put our drain plug back in. So you don't forget it, you may as well do it right now. So when you go to add gear oil on, it's not on the ground. Then we can simply just flip this over. You put the finger tight on so you don't lose it, but you'll have to remember to put gear oil back in it. Align your shaft again. I have to twist it back and forth a little bit. Slide it back into place. Make sure you get the spacer in. And then your snap ring goes in. And then we'll just go in reverse. Run the four bolts in from the bottom. Put your two bolts in for the support on the top. And then we'll have to fight with the tines to get them back into place. Just leave these finger tight until you get those four bottom ones started. Don't drop things on your face. So you wear safety glasses. There we go. 
everything finger tight. You don't have to run them in too hard with an impact, just get them mounted real tight and snug. Don't forget your top two bolts. Tighten the top plank back down where your support ties in. On the 60 and 72 inch, there's gonna be a support that runs across between your three point top link frame here. But now we have everything tight back on here. This part can be a bear. Wrestling this back in, getting it lined up. If you have some alignment tools, you can use those. That would help get a couple bolts started. You're gonna have to lift it back up again. If you get it centered, you can square it up. You can push it into place. Use your built-in adjustment tools. You can get one hole lined up. Remember to run your bolts in from the outside. Then your nut goes on the inside portion.
once you got some bolts on, it goes a lot quicker. Um, so I'll get these all tightened up, and don't forget to fear, don't forget to fill up your gearbox with some oil, and then you're ready to go. Throw your PTO shield back on. Nice little flower pot here. Put it back on. Again, those are 11 millimeter bolts, and there's four of them. Then you can put your drive shaft on with an 18 millimeter bolt there and you're ready to go.